I'm Tyler Stableford. I'm a Colorado-based adventure photographer. And today I'm shooting ice climbing near my hometown of Carbondale. I'm shooting this campaign with the climber Mary Harlan, and we'll be processing the images with Lightroom 3. We're shooting almost entirely in natural light, and I'm relying heavily on Lightroom to elevate the final look of my images. Beautiful. Yeah. In a sense, sculpting the light, the color, and the texture of the images to give them a really polished and professional look. You're kind of be leaning your body away a little bit, keeping the right elbow against the ice. One of the most exciting features in Lightroom 3 is the entirely new processing engine. It's an amazing upgrade in image quality. When shooting at 10 frames per second, I often capture over 3,000 images in a day. Lightroom 3 has a simplified and more powerful import feature that allows me to use presets to save time and lets me import my stills and video files into one master location. I strive to have perfect lighting tools on hand during a shoot, but that's simply not possible when shooting in some locations. Lightroom 3's selective lighting tools give me a huge advantage in a shoot like this, and I really rely on the software to give my final images a polished look. The redesigned post-crop vignette tool is a perfect example. It allows me to shape the light to focus the viewer's attention on the subject. And the recovery tool helps hold highlight details in the snow and ice. I use the graduated filter to make a dark gradient at the bottom of my image, lending a sense of foundation and depth to the photo. Then I use the adjustment brush to selectively lighten or darken certain areas of the scene. In this image, for example, I use the brush to hold stray highlights down. Lightroom has several different ways to make killer black and whites from my color files. Uh, I'd like to go see the, the axe when you're hitting. So. Here. Yeah. The Crop and Straighten tool allows me to adjust horizons and to hone in on the strongest scene. Lightroom 3's web module makes it incredibly fast and easy for me to upload images for client review. I can create a custom flash or HTML gallery, add watermarks to my images for security, and because Lightroom 3 remembers my FTP settings, uploading images to my site is as easy as one click. I want my images to look as good as possible. I depend on Lightroom 3 every bit as much as I depend on my camera gear. Even more importantly, Lightroom has given me new creative tools and options for processing my images, and that's what really excites me as an artist.